Hi my dear students, welcome to Students Reference Channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for the upcoming videos. And today we are going to discuss about Mental Max Worksheet for Multiplication Chapter. We have already worked out so many problems in Multiplication Chapter. So my dear students, you try to work out these problems along with me. If possible, you give your answers in the comment box. The first problem is choose the correct option. A. 3 cross 4. So 3 4s are? Yes, the answer is 12. And B. 63 into dash equal to 63. So the given number and the answer is same. So we have to multiply the given number with? Yes, 1. And problem C, 5 puppies will have dash eyes. We know one puppy has two eyes. So 5 puppies have 5 twos are 10. So the answer is 10. D, 400 multiplied by 10 is equal to? So the given number is 400. So the answer is 400. And we have to add 1 0 with 400. So the answer is 400. And we have to put 1 0. Because 10 has only 1 0. So the answer is yes 4000. And problem E 1023 into 3. So you can write these two numbers vertically. 1023 into 3. 3 3's are 9. 3 2's are 6. 3 0's are 0. 3 1's are 3. So the answer is 3069. Okay. Or otherwise we can multiply as it is. 3 3's are 9. And 3 2's are 6. 3 0's are 0. And 3 1's are 3. Okay. Second one, fill in the blanks. A, the product of 7 and 6 is, that means 7 cross 6. 7, 6 are, the answer is 42. B, when you multiply 25 by 100, you get dash as the product. So we have to write the 25 as it is, then you write these two zeros. So the answer is 2500. And problem C, 21 multiplied by 2 gives. That means 21 into 2. So 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4. Otherwise you can write vertically 21 into 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. Okay. So we get 42. And problem D, 41 into 3. You try to solve using this method 3 ones are 3 and 3 fourths are 12 okay so the answer is 123 so if you write vertically means 3 ones are 3 3 fourths are 12 so we get the same answer and problem e 10 into 15 so we have to write 15 as it is then we put 1 0. So the answer is 150. And 3. State whether the following statements are true or false. A. 5 into 11 equal to. 5 11s are 55. 5 2 times 55. But here the answer is 66. So it's a false statement. B. If you multiply 50 by 5, then you get 250 as the product. That means the answer is 250. So, in that case, first we have to multiply these two 5. 5 5s are 25. Then you put this 1 0. The answer is 250. Yes, the answer is 250. It's a true statement. And C, 754 into 0 is... 0 but here they have given us 754 so it is false. D. The product of 121 and 3 is 
363. So, 3 ones are 3, correct. 3 twos are 6, correct. 3 ones are 3, correct. So, this statement is true. And E, 98 into 67 equal to 67 into 98. The order of the numbers are reversed. So, it is true. And 4, use the properties of multiplication and complete the following. A, 2 into 102 equal to 102 into this. 2 is the answer. And B, 873 into dash equal to 873. So, the answer is equal to the number. So, here the answer is 1. And C, 48 into dash equal to 0. So, answer is 0. So, 48 is multiplied with 0. Yes. And D, 51 into 100 equal to, you write 51 as it is. Then, you write these two zeros. 5,100. And problem E, 9 into dash equal to 9,000. So, here how many zeros are here? 3 zeros. So, you put 3 zeros here and then you write 1. So, 9 into 1000, okay. And here, F, 13 into dash equal to 130. So, here 1, 3 and here 1, 3. How many zeros are here? Only 1, 0. So, you write 1, 0. Then, you write 1 here. So, the answer is 10. And problem 5, multiply the following. A, 16 into 6. So, you first multiply this 6 into this 6. 6, 6 are 36. You write 6 here and carry over 3 is above 1. Okay. And 6 ones are 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Otherwise, you write these two numbers vertically. Then you multiply. Okay. 6, 6 are 36. 6 here and carry over 3 is here. 6 ones are 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 96. Okay. And next, 301 into 3. And this is simple. 3 ones are 3. And 3 zeros are 0. 3 threes are 9. 903. And next, problem C is 1203 into 2. 3 twos are 6 and 2 zeros are 0, 2 twos are 4, 2 ones are 2, 2406 and D 547 into 10. So the answer is 547 then you put 1 0. So 5470. And E, 14 into 70. So, in that case, we have to multiply first this 14 and this 7 only. Okay. So, 14 into 7. 7 fours are 28. 8 here and carry over 2 is here. 7 ones are 7. 7 plus 2, 9. So, 14 into 7 is 98. 98. Then you put this 10. So 980. Okay. F 20 into 50. So first you write 2 and 5 only. Okay. 2 5s are 10. Then we have 10 in 20 and 10 in 50. So how many zeros are here? 1, 2. 2 zeros are here. So you write 2 zeros. So, the answer is 1000. And 6. Answer the following questions. When 78 is multiplied by a number, the answer we get is 7800. What is the number? Okay, once again, we read the problem. When 78 is multiplied by a number, so, 78 is multiplied by a number. We don't know the number. So, we put dash. The answer is so equal to. We get 
hundred. Okay, so here seventy eight and here also seventy eight and here after seventy eight, how many zeros? Only two zeros. So you put these two zeros and write one before these two zeros. Okay, so the answer is one hundred. Okay, so once again. I explain. So here, seventy-eight, and in the answer also seventy-eight. And after seventy-eight, how many zeros are here? Two zeros. So you write these two zeros in the dash, and then you write one before the zero. So the answer is one hundred. And B, what is larger, twenty-four into hundred or forty-two into hundred? So if we compare these two problems, hundred is Common in both problems, so you omit that two. Okay, now you compare this twenty-four and forty-two. Which is larger? Forty-two is the larger one. So forty-two into hundred is the larger one. Okay, and see, Parth was at the beach for five days and found nine shells every day. That means per day. Or one day, how many sea shells did Path collect in these five days? So once again, repeat the problem. Path was at the beach for five days. I write it in numbers: five days, and found nine sea shells every day. How many sea shells did Path collect in these five days? So number of shells in one day is nine. So number of cells in five days means five into nine. So five nines are forty-five. So the answer is forty-five. Problem D. Amar, Mike, and Hamid each have eight pencils. That means Amar has eight pencils, Mike has eight pencils, and Hamid has eight pencils. How many pencils do they have in all? Okay. So number of pencils equal to eight, and number of persons. How many persons are here? One, two, three. So eight into three equal to eight threes are twenty-four. Is the answer? And E. Neelam bought ten dozen eggs from a grocery store to bake some cakes. How many cakes did Neelam buy? And here, Neelam bought. Ten dozen. One dozen means twelve. One dozen means twelve. But she bought ten dozen. So into ten. Twelve into ten equal to twelve. Then you put one zero. One hundred twenty. And yes, Jessica has fifteen baskets. She puts apples in each basket. How many apples? Does she have? So number of baskets are fifteen, and apples in one basket is five. So fifteen into five. You write these two numbers vertically and then multiply. Five fives are twenty-five. So five here carry over two is here. Five ones are five. Five plus two is seven. So seventy-five apples in. Five baskets. So, my dear students, today we have discussed mental max worksheet for multiplication problems. You practice these problems very well. I have already uploaded the full multiplication chapter. Refer that also. If you have any queries, means you post your queries in the comment box. We will meet in the next class. Thank you.